Hi guys, this is Farz and welcome back to Farzalozy. And in this tutorial, we will learn how to enhance portrait, how to pop up the portrait. And if you're new in the channel, hit the subscribe button and also the bell icon. So let's get started. Okay, in terms of enhancing portrait, we need to focus on the main three things, the contrast, then the sharpness, and then the color. So this is the main thing we need to focus on. So let's see how can we fix them. And this is a very beautiful picture. At first, I want to add some contrast to it. So for adding contrast, first copy the background layer by pressing Ctrl and J, or you can click and simply drag on this icon. So now you can see a background copy layer. And now then go to the filter and then blur and select Gaussian Blur from here. And now set an amount here which is not so much blurry. I think for this picture, uh, 5 pixels is good. Look at this. It's not too much blurry. Just add a simple little blur. And now press OK. And then change the blending mode to soft light. And look at this. See the before and after. Let's zoom out and see. It add contrast to the image, but it's too harsh. So we reduce the opacity around 50%. And now see, this was the before, and this is the after. It looks great. And then now we'll talk about the sharpness. Look at this before and after. It creates some blur as we apply the Gaussian blur. We need to fix them and also we will enhance the sharpening. So for this, select the background layer again and copy it by pressing Ctrl and J. And now select the layer and place it on the top. Then go to the filter and then other and select high pass from here. And now look at this and set the value exact as you did on the Gaussian blur. So I used 5 pixels. So here also I am using 5 pixels. Now press OK. And this time change the blending mode to overlay. And now look at this. This was the before. It's And this is after. Look at this. It looks great. Let's zoom out and see the before and after. This was the before. And this is the after. We just apply two layer on this picture. It looks great already. So and now I want to enhance the color. Remember I want to enhance the color not the saturation. So how can we do it? Okay at first see an example if we increase the saturation from the hue and saturation adjustment layer like this look at this it looks artificial it doesn't look natural and the colors are distorted so it's not a good option see the before and after it's not a good option to increase the color of an image so delete the layer and to enhance the color not the saturation and also do it naturally for this go to the selective color adjustment layer and here i want to enhance the red yellows green cyan and blues and also magentas i want to enhance all the colors so for this select the red and i want to enhance the red but look at this there is no red in the color mode and now tell me the opposite color of red it's cyan remember c m y k is the opposite of r z v so select the red and decrease the cyan and now let's zoom in a little bit now you can see it increases the reds it's more natural i think minus 31 is good look at this this was the before and this is after it already looks good and then i want to increase the yellows for this select the yellow and here you will find a yellow bar so just increase it just increase as you want i think yeah 30 percent is good and then i think i should reduce it a little bit around 21 or 25 maybe perfect 
and then select the green but there is no green color again so opposite color of green what is this the magenta so decrease the magenta like this i think look at this green part of your picture look i think yeah minus 62 is final and then select the cyan and here you will find the cyan so increase it i'm giving 100 and then blues and again we don't have blue so what is the opposite color of blue it's yellow so decrease the yellow and look at this part the blue part of your picture it looks great i'm giving minus 100 it looks perfect and then the magentas and increase it and look at this part i think yeah 19 something like that it's fine so let's see the before and after this was the before okay let's zoom out and see look at this this was the before applying the selective color and this is after it looks great it helps you to pop up the color in a natural way so it's a really useful adjustment layer and now i want to enhance the freckles for this let's zoom in and create a black and white adjustment layer where is this yeah oops but we don't want black and white picture so for this changing the blending mode to luminosity and look at this the colors come back and now to enhance the freckles just decrease the yellow look at this and also little bit reds it's fine but look at this the effect is applied on the whole image so select the mask and press ctrl and i to fill it with black or invert and now pick a soft brush and decrease the opacity around i think 20 percent make sure your mode is normal and select white as a foreground color and then just click on the freckles Oops. like this to increase maybe on the nose areas a little bit and on the cheek Maybe on this area a little bit. So, let's see the before and after. This is the before. Look at this. And this is after. So, it looks more sharp now. And you can always decrease the opacity from here also. And now, let's see the before and after. This was the before and this is after let's see the before and after overall this was the before and this is after it looks more eye casting now and to give a matte look create a levels and just bring this to the right just a little not too much i think this is fine let's see the before and after this is before and this is after it's fine i think it's pretty done but look at this there is something missing i think something is missing something is distracting right the background yes i want the background a little bit desaturated in terms of the subject and also a little bit dark it may help to avoid the distraction and make your subject more eye casting and to do this just create a hue and saturation adjustment layer and this time just give focus on the background just decrease the saturation just a little not too much and also decrease the lightness so i think yeah this is fine but the effect is applied on the holiness to avoid this just click on the mask and press ctrl and i and now 
pick a soft white brush and just make sure opacity 100% and just paint on the background like this Now see the before and after this was the before and this is after i think it looks good now and all the focus is on the subject i think we can create a vignette look to make it more eye -cassy. just go to the gradient adjustment layer and select a radial and select this gradient i think it will be perfect select a radial and red reverse and now increase the scale a little bit i think a little bit more yeah i think this is fine this was the before and this is after you can always decrease it and also change the angle just a little now it looks good so now look at this before and after overall this was the before look at this and this is after look at this let's zoom in a little bit so you can see this was the before and this is after it looks great and it looks more sharper more eye casting more colorful so you can create your portrait more eye casting more colorful just applying some adjustment layer like this I hope this tutorial will help you and if you love this tutorial hit the like button leave your comments and don't forget to subscribe.